I have been feeling just like I need a change. I need a reset. I need to do something different in my life. My car. What's up guys, welcome to my channel. I hate cough syrup, but I have tried everything but this and nothing's worked, so I'm, it's my last resort. I haven't really slept that well in four days. Always one huge tablespoon of cough syrup, let it settle in the throat, and then you take a little bit of water to get rid of the awfulness that is cough syrup, especially Buckley's. Cheers. That is awful. And maybe expired. Oh yeah, that's expired. Woof. Cleaning. This is literally lately how every night goes now. I sleep when I get home from work and I'm up to like three o'clock in the morning. Not on days where I work the next day. I'll wake up at like 10, I'll go to back to sleep at like 12 or one. But on days where I'm off, like today I'm off, I could stay up to like six or seven. Ice cubes last night. <clears throat> I have ice cubes today. I feel like that's good. Just put on the Peter McKinnon ND filter. I'm gonna show you guys. It's because it's weird. It's got like, it's got like this cover. Um, it's actually cool and it locks in, so like it won't move. So the six to nine stops is actually pretty useful. Uh, at least I think for me. Like I don't know if you'll be able to see that because it's so dark. It's it's fucking hot in here. Why are you drinking too? Yeah, lemonade and the tea. outside today I wore a sweater because I thought you know what I'm gonna have the dog later it's gonna be cold the sweater right now is killing me I'm hot I'm sweating every time Tyson takes a pee he always steps sometimes not always but he steps in his own pee it's so fucking disgusting and he doesn't even know any better it's just like all right cool I'm just gonna step in my own piss to share with you I've gotten so I got an interview tomorrow I got my little Starbucks drink this is kind of the problem so I had my interview and it was like I was expecting a more formal situation to get that experience but it wasn't really that it it was good to have the interview but I don't feel like if I get another interview in a more formal setting I'm gonna be well prepared that's the only concern I have. But I did take the interview, 
I turned the job down because it just wasn't what I wanted. This foot is hurting to the, the bottom of this one. I don't know what happened, but today it's causing me quite a bit of discomfort. <laughs> Mia, you got anything to say to the people? Oh. So I finally got rejected from one of the companies I applied to. I'm not gonna share because it doesn't matter who I got rejected from. But it was interesting. First time in my life I've ever been rejected. I'm okay with it because it wasn't a place at the top of my list. It was, I think, the first place I applied to. But at least they got back to me. At least they were very clear in saying, we're gonna go in a different direction. But I'm hoping I don't have too many letters or too many emails that have that same. There is some places I did genuinely apply to that I do genuinely think I could do a very good job at. And I would be willing to leave my current position with my current company to test myself and try something completely different. It's also insane to me that at 38 years old, I'm willing to take these kind of chances when I've dug my feet into a company for 20 years, that I'm willing to say, you know what? I'm willing to risk quite a bit to go into a new field, to go into an entirely new company and completely try something that I've never done before. Roll all my chips there and say, all right, I'm gonna bet on myself that I can put the necessary effort and energy forward to learn and to grow. So I'm gonna keep striving a little higher than you know, just a regular position in a new company, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test my luck and, and see what I can actually get and who will respond to what I applied to.